making the sports science list of the hardest hits in sports. Next up, getting hammered. talk about the hardest hits in sports without including football and rugby. Both have plenty of opportunities to get absolutely hammered. But do any of these athletes really hit as hard as a hammer? A 10-pound sledgehammer swung by an average human at 10 miles per hour produces 1,000 pounds of force. So the question is, do the hardest hits in rugby and football generate as much force as a sledgehammer? Leading off the hit parade in our sledgehammer challenge is Southern California's toughest rugby team, L-A-X. And they don't wear pads. If I was to put on a helmet and shoulder pads right now, I'd probably hit a moving car. In rugby, the most devastating hit comes when you get caught reaching for a pass. Arms up, body exposed. Hopefully there's a stretcher nearby because there's a good reason this is called a hospital pass. One of you has to be the brave soldier to just take a huge hit. Who's it gonna be? All right. Are you ready to uh, either get your ribs broken or for us to call an ambulance yeah. or something? <laughs> he plays rugby, he'll handle it. He'll be <laughs> exactly. all right. Let it roll. To find out the force in this full speed, no pad collision, our scientists outfit the players with the Inform A Pod, a cutting edge human performance measuring system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an instrumented headgear on you because you're being hit. And it's not really for protection, but to just really see how your head moves while you're being impacted. All right. I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna kick your a boy. Too, that just felt good. Oh. <laughs> that is about the hardest I've been hit in a long time, so. All right. So that's going to give us a good reading as to how hard you guys actually hit. Yeah, like that, that gave me an instant stomachache. Our motion capture technology takes us inside rugby's hardest hit. The classic hospital pass leaves the receiver open and vulnerable to a driving collision. Because the defender has no pads, the force of the impact is confined to a concentrated area. Upon impact, the rugby player felt 1,700 pounds of force. But in this classic double whammy, the worst is still to come. When he hits the ground, he takes 2,000 pounds of force, easily enough to break a rib and force a trip to the hospital. The total force of this hospital pass is like getting hit by two sledgehammers, twice. So the score, rugby one, sledgehammer zero. Time for a football to take its best shot. Will the addition of pads increase or decrease the amount of force upon impact? To find out how football stacks up against the sledgehammer, we brought in one of the hardest hitting cornerbacks in the NFL, Quentin Jammer. The hardest hit in Jammer's repertoire is the hit across the middle. We start out, we're gonna play a cover two. Basically what the corner does is he's gonna jam this receiver 
and make sure he goes inside so he can keep reading the quarterback's eyes. As soon as the quarterback starts his motion, I'm already coming off my receiver to the other receiver coming across the middle. So we'll take it to the play with, just run up, I'm gonna jam him, open up inside, looking at the quarterback, throws the ball, bam! I would love to be the guinea pig and just having you crush me as hard as you can, but we're actually gonna set up a super high-tech experiment that's never been done before to measure exactly how hard you can crush somebody coming over the middle. All right, let's go. Since no one on the sports science staff was dumb enough to get hammered by Jammer, we brought in a real dummy, the Hybrid 3 Crash Test Dummy. His day job is in the automotive industry, where he measures the forces inside car wrecks. He's wired with sensors that record 10,000 measurements per second. And for the first time ever, we'll know precisely how much force Jammer can hammer on a hit across the middle. We have a regulation football helmet here. Inside, there are six accelerometers that we will use to calculate what your head sees. Are you ready to do this? Ready. All right. Here we go. Come on, here we go. All right. We were looking for chest deflection, which means how far we take the sternum and displace it relative to your spine. And in this case, it was about 57 millimeters, or roughly two and a quarter inches. That's significant. I mean, the highest range we do in the automotive industry is you cannot exceed 75 millimeters or three inches. So from one impact from a football player, he generated almost two thirds of the value that we limited in a car crash. So this guy, if I put him in a car, Put a seatbelt, 35 mile an hour into a wall. I'd get those kind of numbers. You had your adrenaline pumping, you wanted to make a statement, and with the data, that's a statement. I'm a 35 mile per hour car crash waiting to happen. Our motion capture technology gives us an amazing look at this impact. Hurling his 200 pound body at 14 miles an hour, Quentin bulldozes into his opponent. The force generated is dispersed quickly throughout the offensive player's body, starting at the point of impact and spreading outward. Our sensors revealed that this hit generated 4,800 pounds of force. That's almost five times harder than a sledgehammer and more than double the impact of the Rugby Hospital Pass. Even though the impact is greater than a rugby hit, the pads disperse the force over a wider area. The hit is felt by the entire rib cage, which flexes and absorbs the blow. Though a football hit may be harder than a hammer, the impact of a rugby hit is actually more like a hammer. It's concentrated and focused. The results of the data? Car crash or hammer? Pads, no pads. Both of them can leave you feeling like a pile of hammered hit. Coming up, we look at one of the scariest moments in sports history. Johnny Damon's head-to-head -head collision. And Joey Porter and Rampage Jackson get their chance to make our technology tap out. Sports Science, hardest hits, we'll be right back.